the factory of a specialized equipment manufacturer in Miyazaki Prefecture. The cascades made here are used in airplanes worldwide. They can be as large as one meter in length. Just where on an airplane can these be found? We caught up with Osaki Kazuya in the company's showroom to find out more. As you may know, an airplane's engine is here. The center part here is where the cascades are. This is a full-scale replica of the structure around an engine. And the cascades? They're here. They form a ring around the engine. There could be 20 of these per unit. We ask, just what exactly do these components do? The cascades help control the flow of air during reverse thrust. Without a thrust reverser, it would take a much longer distance for a landing aircraft to stop. The thrust reverser, in addition to the brakes, greatly shortened that stopping distance. The cascades are not used in the air. But during landing, they help stop a 200-ton airplane before there's no runway left. Right after landing, the outer flap of the engine opens, the blocker doors shut, and the cascades reverse the flow of the air, stopping the aircraft in conjunction with the brakes. The key to this working is here, the direction that the holes are pointing. These change the direction of the airflow so that it goes opposite to the direction the plane is moving in. When looking at footage of an actual landing, one can observe that air is coming out where the cascades are located to slow the plane down. This company holds about 90% of the global market share for these cascades. How were they able to achieve this success? The secret is this. The carbon fiber reinforced plastic used to make the cascades. In 1981, the company began developing carbon fiber materials. It's light but strong, a lot of added value. We looked for something that needed that kind of added value, and that was airplanes. In the 60s, the use of airplanes became more affordable. Cascades then were made from metal. But the metal was heavy and susceptible to early failure due to stress. Then came the 70s and the oil crisis. As fuel costs surged, people looked for ways to reduce the weight of the cascades since they were only used during landing. Then in 1983, the company managed to create the world's first cascades made from carbon fiber reinforced plastic. They were stronger than metal ones and lighter. Even at this size, it only weighs about five kilograms. If this cascade were metal, it'd be pretty hard to lift with one hand, but it's no problem with the ones we made. Just how are they manufactured? We were able to get a special look at part of the process that makes them so strong. The cascades are made from many thin sheets of special material layered together. At this stage, they're loaded into the kiln. The kiln is pressurized and heated to some 180 degrees Celsius. Roughly 11 hours later, 
The carbon fiber reinforced plastic has hardened after heating and is now stronger than iron. In one day, this factory makes 180 cascade components, enough for around five airplanes. These important parts that help make flights safe are shipped to airplane manufacturers all around the world from here. We're very proud to have the quality of our products recognized. But on the other hand, there's immense pressure because if we can't deliver the components, there will be airplanes unable to fly. So we're always working hard to maintain the quality of our products.